What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use OBS. So here is OBS, I'm currently recording with OBS on a different window, but this is the layout and it's very simple. So starting off with over here to the side it says scenes. Now you'll notice what I have is scene and I also have full face cam. So if I press this, this is now my webcam live. The quality is terrible as you can tell, but if I head back over to scene and over to sources here, it shows first monitor, which is this monitor here. And the reason it's first monitor is because I have two monitors. So to make a scene, you come down here to the plus button and you can see it says add. From there, you're making a scene and I'll just keep this as scene two. Now, of course, you need to add a source. So to add a source under the sources section, you press this plus button. And as you'll see, you have a bunch of different things you can use. Now the main one you're probably going to be using is either a window capture, an image, image slideshow, a game capture, display capture, or browser source. Now I have covered these in many different videos which I will be linking in the description. Be sure to check out the full playlist of OBS tutorials I've done in the past. So display capture and create new, you can call it whatever you want to, I'm just going to select OK. Now you can see this is the display. So like I was saying, I have two monitors. So this is my first monitor, which we are currently on now. But if I select the second one, this is my other monitor and I'm currently recording OBS. Um, you can tell it's the second monitor because down here it says stop recording. And on the first display, we have this up. So I'm gonna keep on my first display and select okay. And just like that, it's sorted. So scene two is capturing this. So let's change it. So let's right click this and select properties. And we're gonna change it to display one. This is the second display, of course. I'm gonna select okay. And now this is how it can be useful, especially for streamers. Scenes are very useful. So we have the first scene, which is the first monitor. We have the full face cam, which of course is face cam, pretty self-explanatory. And we have a scene two, which is the second monitor. Of course, if you're a streamer, you might want to rename them just to make everything um, a lot easier when it comes to it. So you can call this monitor one. And of course, you can call this one monitor two. And of course, you have full face cam. So I'll also be showing you how to add your webcam. So again, create a new scene. I'll call this face cam. I'm going to select OK. And again, it's black. We need to come under sources and select add. And what you're going to select is video capture device. I will call this webcam, select OK. Now you can see it's picked up my webcam straight away and that's it right there. Um, in terms of everything else, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave everything as default. Of course, you can change it if you want to. I'm going to select OK. So once it is in, this is how it will look and you want to right click it. And from there, you can select transform. You can edit transformation or you can use the presets here. For example, fit to screen, which is going to be full screen. I can also right click it, transform, and maybe we can use edit transformation. And this is where you get full control. Another way is you can see these dots here in the corners. You can just drag it up, move it around and fit it how you want to. So good for gameplay. That's in the top left corner. Of course, you can have your game underneath. So how would you have your game underneath? So staying on this face cam scene and under these sources, we're going to select plus. Now I don't have a game open, but I'm just going to be using display capture and I'm select display capture and I will just call this game and I'll select OK. Uh, of course, I'm going to pick display one, which is the second monitor. There we go. Select OK. And just like that, it's on. However, you will notice our face cam has disappeared. So how do you fix that? Well, under sources, you can see game is above webcam. Webcam needs to be on top in order to be seen. So I'll drag this below like that. And as you can see, I'm now on top. Um, just to prove this is a second monitor, let's go to Audacity. There you go, just like that. You can even record a tutorial like this. Um, I'm not going to though because the webcam isn't the best, but there you go. That's how you can stream and that's how you can record videos. So we covered scenes and sources. They're pretty straightforward. However, there is also mixer. Now you can see it says mic slash aux. And when I'm talking, this line is moving up or down. This is going to tell you your levels and how loud or how good you are talking. 
Now where I'm aiming for right now is around here and it seems to be hitting just fine, which means my voice isn't going to be distort. Underneath it says desktop audio. This means anything, any noise that comes from the computer will be picked up here. Now it's currently muted because I don't want to record desktop noise, but if I uncheck this and for example I come here and do that, you'll see, for those on Windows 10 you'll know that noise, but you'll see as I do it, this line goes up and it comes down. Same for the microphone. So if you don't want to hear, for example, if you're streaming, someone walks in your room, press this button and straight away your microphone is muted. Now moving on to the next one is scene transitions. So again, for streamers, for those that may have a countdown set up before you start streaming, you can have that on. And then when you actually begin streaming, you can set one of the transitions. So either from a cut or a fade and change it to the original gameplay. You can also choose the duration here. I believe this is 300 milliseconds. So you can also put in a custom number if you want to. Now these aren't the only transitions you get. They're the ones that are shown, but if you press this plus button, you can see these are other ones you can get. So final thing is controls. So there's a lot more here. There's start streaming, start recording, studio mode, ex uh, settings, and of course exit, which is gonna close the program. You can select start streaming, but you're not going to start streaming. There's a lot more steps with, especially with Twitch and YouTube. You need to do some extra steps in order to start streaming, which I have covered in another video. They will be linked in the description. Now start recording. You can start recording straight away once you downloaded OBS, but I don't recommend it straight away because we need to change a file type. When you first have OBS, for some reason, they always make you save your files by default in FLV. And I've had people complain about this in the past on my videos. Why is it doing it? It's because you did not change that setting, which I will be showing you now. So head over to your settings. So this is what we have. We have all these on the side. Uh, general, you really don't need to touch. Streaming is where you will need to be changing a few things. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can see there's a URL and also a stream key. Uh, very important. Streaming type, you can set to custom or streaming services. And then you select service and you select whatever one you want here. As I've mentioned, I have covered Twitch and YouTube in the past. So if you want to know how to stream using OBS, then check out the videos in the description. And in that, I also cover how you'll get the stream key and how to pick the server, etc. So the output, this is important because this is where you're going to get all your settings. Now, everyone's settings are going to be different. You can see there's a streaming, there's a recording, and there's an audio. So my recording settings are right here. And this is where I am telling you about the recording format. By default, it's going to be recording in FLV you need to come here and change that to MP4. Very important, otherwise you're gonna complain about it. And of course the recording path, this is where your recordings will save. Now onto the audio tab, again, very important. Desktop audio device. Now this is has to be the speakers that your audio is coming out of. So maybe if you have some Razer headphones connected, make sure you select them from here. Uh, Speakers here is the one I use. Samsung is my second monitor, which I don't use the audio from there, so I would select this one. And a way you can also check that, if you come down to the speaker icon, select it, you can see it says it right here. And if you press this button, you can always switch back and forth to select the one you want to. And of course, make sure that matches this one here. You can have a second audio device, um, optional if you want that. And then you can have the mic or auxiliary. Then you set your microphone, very important again, Make sure you select your microphone from here, otherwise you're going to be either be recording no sound or you're going to be recording with your laptop microphone or even your webcam microphone, which is not the best. You can have up to three microphones here, so good for dual commentary. Video, um, up to you how you have this, 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. You can see you can have the base of it and then you can scale the resolution to how you want it, anything from here. Then we go to the frames per second. It goes all the way up to 60. So if you want to do some slow motion and gaming, you have it right there, 60 FPS. For all of my videos, I'll record them in 30, simply because there's no point of me doing 60. Then we have hotkeys. Now hotkeys are basically shortcut on your keyboard to trigger stuff in OBS. For example, I have F9 set up to start recording. 
I also have F9 set up to stop recording, so if I was to press F9, my recording would stop. If I were to press F9 when I open up OBS, my recording would start. And there's a bunch of different ones you can set up here, and it's optional how many or what you use. As for the advanced tab, nothing you need to worry about here, just apply and OK. And officially from here, you're good to go with the recording. As I mentioned, if you want to learn how to stream, check out my other videos where I've already showed that. And that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it's been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe right and peace.